Thank you for joining us for North Metro TV News. I'm Ben Hale. And I'm Danica Peterson. A level three predatory offender will be moving into a Blaine neighborhood at the beginning of May. Roger Lynn Node has a history of sexual conduct with adolescent males. He'll be moving to Blaine in the vicinity of 113th Avenue and Hastings Street Northeast. A community notification meeting was held last week and around 100 community members gathered to learn about the conditions surrounding the release of Node. He's been in prison since 2012 and he'll be on what's called intensive supervised release. His supervision will include GPS monitoring and multiple in-person visits from a corrections agent every week. So there's six different phases of this intensive supervised release program where an agent can drop in on him at any time, um, generally about four days a week. And he's also required to call in every day and provide his schedule. So they can go to wherever he is. It doesn't have to be his home. It could be his work. It could be his treatment place, any place where he is found regularly. And there's no set schedule to that. Mm -hmm. So they could come in the middle of the night, they could come during the day, and they don't have a pattern. Mm -hmm. In addition to the intense supervision, Node will also have several other restrictions placed on him. No um, ability to go on the internet except to look for a job, say, at the workforce center. That would be allowed, but that's the only use of internet he would be able to have. No contact with minors, either direct or indirect. Uh, no alcohol or drugs, zero tolerance for that. Um, he has to obtain and maintain a full-time schedule. Employment is a priority. The community notification law has been in place for 19 years, yet community meetings are still well attended and residents leave with valuable information. It's, it's an opportunity to have a conversation about sex offenders in general and safety planning in particular. People can talk about what their safety planning process is now. Does it need some stepping up? You know, what are they doing now? Talk about family safety planning, having a safety plan and practicing it often. In the case of Node, he had a prior relationship with all of his victims.